Hello, welcome to Morning Prayer. <clears throat> I thought um, today, oh good morning, hello. Hi. Um, I thought today, um, with it being between, um, well, with it being Easter Saturday, we would use this opportunity to have a meditation together. Um, so yesterday you had um, Miranda and Stations of the Cross. Hello, Val. Um, Stations of the Cross. And tomorrow you have um, a service of Holy Communion over on St. Lucan City page at 10 o'clock for Easter Sunday. So today being Easter Saturday, I thought that um, I would read um, a poem in reflection of um, the passion narratives and then we're as always going to light some candles together. We'll take it nice and slow and nice and relaxed um, and also um, just to sort of concentrate on nature a little bit. Um, I appreciate that it's a very difficult time for everyone right now and um, today in particular that day between the death and the resurrection is even more reason to be gentle with ourselves. Um, so, just take a moment. Heavenly Father, thank you for this opportunity to gather together for prayer, for reflection and for fellowship. Even though we are not in one building, we are the church, Lord. We pray that we, although we are all different parts of the country, will we pray with one heart and one mind. Amen. Leave that there. I'm just going to see if I can see the comments again because I know I've had difficulty. So I'm going to read a short poem from this book and I'm going to read it a stanza at a time. Um, but I'm going to repeat each stanza. To really concentrate on the words um, and also because it does mention nature I think if ever if anyone has got an opportunity to go outside today these might be nice words to meditate on on Easter Saturday so if you're interested it's a book um, I borrowed from one of my colleagues last Easter she doesn't know I've still got it but it's very very good it is stations of the nativity cross and resurrection by Raymond Chapman. Can you just take a moment? I see his blood upon the rose, and in the stars the glory of his eyes. His body gleams amid eternal snows. His tears fall from the skies. I see his face in every flower. The thunder and the singing of birds. And but his voice and carving. By his power, rocks are his written words. All pathways by his feet are worn. His strong heart stares the ever-beating sea. His crown of thorns is twinned with every thorn. His cross in every tree.
Let me just concentrate on those words. And as we observe nature today, maybe think of Christ's sacrifice. That grief and that hope. I see his blood upon the rose, and in the stars the glory of his eyes. His body gleams amid eternal snows, his tears fall from the skies. I see his face in every flower, the thunder and the singing of birds. Our boss's voice, and carven by his power, rocks are his written words. All pathways by his feet are worn. His strong heart stares an ever-beating ever sea. His crown of thorns is twinned with every thorn. His cross in every tree. May take a moment to think about something that jumped out to you. One thing that jumped out to me from what I just read is the singing of birds. The um, this morning I was awoken by a beautiful chorus of singing birds, and it was very very nice. The thunder and the singing of birds are but his voice. We move now into a time of prayer. I have lots of candles to light. So if you did have any prayer requests, please type them in. I will lead, but also you're very welcome to type and we will all pray together. Um, Pray for this very special time of Easter in the church and how everyone is getting so creative. So I just realise you might not hear me. It's time of Easter for the church and everyone getting so creative with what they're doing and how they're bringing Easter to everyone's homes. In this time of great hope and great love for one another is reflected in Easter. This holy time.
pray for anyone struggling at this time. People who may not have the technology to join us and may be feeling isolated. May they know God's grace. And at this time, Lord, may we remember to be gentle with ourselves, our families, our neighbours. Be kind, Lord. Remember that we're all in this together. Lord God, you bring hope in the darkness as we, as we anticipate morning of Easter day when we celebrate together let us be gentle with ourselves so just listen to the ring is a form of concentration. And as we collectively bring our prayers, our worries, our concerns and our love up to God, we gather these up together as we join in the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Thank you for joining this instance of morning prayer for Easter Saturday. Um, I really hope you have a lovely day. I hope you get a chance to go outside and enjoy this weather and get some fresh air. And we'll see you back tomorrow at 10 for uh, Easter Sunday broadcast. Okay, have a lovely day. Stay blessed. <laughs>